Hello everyone, welcome back to 2 Minute Tips, let's get started. If you've ever found yourself wanting to repeat a block of questions in your survey, or if you've ever thought there has to be a better way of asking similar questions, you've come to the right video. Loop and Merge is a survey feature that allows you to take a block of questions and dynamically repeat them multiple times for a respondent. Example use cases include a school asking parents multiple similar questions about each of their children, or a clothing company asking similar questions regarding different types of clothing. Let's head over to our survey builder and take a look at the different options we have when incorporating Loop and Merge into our survey. As you can see, we currently only have the groundwork set up for this new sports survey. Here, we have the option of using a static loop, looping based off of a number, and looping based off of a question. In this case, we will be asking the respondent which of the included sports they watch and using their answers as the fields in Loop and Merge. This second block has questions that are simply missing the specific sport they are inquiring about. Here, we will pipe in the specific fields from Loop and Merge. Let's click on the second block, select Loop and Merge, turn on Loop and Merge, and click Loop based off of a question. Once that's done, let's select our question and choose the Selected Choices option. This will pre-populate the fields for the first column, and if we wanted to ask more specific questions about each sport, we could add more fields. In this case, let's leave the fields alone, randomize the loop order, and click Save. Now, all we have to do is add the pipe text to each question in the second block and preview the survey to ensure that it loops as expected. Just as expected, we get the exact number of loops as answers selected in the first question. Today we only looked at how to use loop and merge based off of a question. If you'd like to watch another video showcasing how to use loop and merge in a static loop or based off of a number, please leave a comment in the community to let us know. And that's it! Thank you for learning how to add loop and merge into your Qualtrics survey with me today. Please remember to subscribe to the 2 Minute Tip category on the XM community so you never miss a video. And I hope to see you around the XM community.